it all. It's a workout. He was probably the most physically capable person that I've ever known. But he's determined to still enjoy those same things. I be adventurous. <laughs> FootJax is a company that is dedicated to keeping people active on their feet. Remy actually can get himself walking fast enough that we could arguably call it running. Well, anybody that uh, has the potential to walk, but obviously walking is difficult, uh, exercise is probably the most important thing that they can do. Staying fit is difficult when you're in a wheelchair. He's just quickly put himself up to 1.0, so he's walking at one mile per hour at the moment. Uh, the one of the machines that we have is the Alter G. The Alter G is a treadmill that makes you light. It holds you up and it enables you to be able to walk when walking is difficult. Fast? Uh, I mean, uh, Warm up? Yeah. Okay. I knew Remy before he had his accident, uh, I think it was seven years ago. Um, he was probably the most physically capable person that I've ever known. Uh, and then he had his accident. 1.9. Got him onto the machine for the first time, and he had very little to no control over his legs. We would make the treadmill go on and off, on and off. 2.2. 2.2. He slowly just learned how to get a certain coordination of his legs so that he could move. And we've progressed into the point where he has now gone at 3.0 miles per hour which for an able-bodied person is about the speed that you'd be walking at if you really had somewhere to go. It keeps his muscles strong. It allows him to be able to self-transfer, uh, which is a really big thing for the facilities that he has to live in. The spectrum of people that can use this is uh, extremely vast, all the way up to professional athletes who have absolutely no injuries and they're just using it for performance enhancement. So as I'm running, I cannot move sideways off the treadmill. I can't. I can't run into anything and I can't get spit off the back of the treadmill. A blind person would be able to uh, walk or run at very high speeds with no apprehension. I'll show you if you happen to lose your balance or have a problem, you just sit in the shorts and it holds you up so you can't fall. So you would be able to run at very, very high intensities, basically using uh, physical exertion as your uh, end point for how hard you can go. Okay. You comfortable with your stance there? Yep. We've had people with Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease. Um, it's just those types of problems make it difficult to exercise. Tom will be zipped into the top of a large balloon. The balloon encapsulate his lower body as well as the treadmill. The treadmill is on a scale and as the balloon inflates and starts to lift him up off the treadmill, it will be able to calibrate itself to his exact body weight. So the gravity or the amount that you weigh can be uh, accurately offloaded from 100% of your body, which is full body weight, to 20%, which is almost the same as the moon. That says 100. So right now you weigh 100% of your body weight. That's full body weight. We'll take you right to 60% of your body weight. Uh, the treadmill can be inclined to 15% of an incline and it can go up to 12 miles per hour, which is very fast running. Well, I'm going to go at 0 0.1%, 0 0.1 mile per hour increments. <laughs> yeah. Burning calories is critical. That's basically just staying fit. Uh, burning calories when you're only using small muscles is difficult. When you can employ the uh, use of your big muscles in your legs, in your bum, uh, you will burn calories much, much quicker. It's great. Is it better? Is it better than treadmill at the gym? Um, yeah, I think there's more potential for speed on it, for sure. Walking is probably the most important exercise a human being can do. And when walking is taken away from you, it really limits what kind of uh, exercise that you can do.